So what I have here is some potassium dichromate, nice orange solid, and I'm going to try and dissolve it in water. Okay, so I've added some water to it. You can see some of the water, some of it's dissolving because it's getting a little orange. And I'll shake it up here a little bit, try and get more of it to dissolve. It's really down there deep. All right, now I've finally gotten it broken up a little bit. And you can see it's partially dissolved, but you can see there's still a lot of solid in, a lot of solid in there. So. What I'm going to do to try and get this stuff to dissolve, I'm going to heat it up. All right? So as I heat this solution, that's going to increase the solubility of the solid. You can already see that more of it's dissolving. It's kind of hard to heat it in a... Um, test tube. Okay, I cut out a bunch of that video, but you can see now there's no solid in solution. It's all dissolved. There's no solid there at all. All right, so as I heated the solution up, more solid dissolves. That's because the solubility of solids increases with increasing temperature. Now, I can pull that solid back out of solution simply by cooling it. If I cool it, then I'm lowering the temperature, and lower temperature means less solubility. And so as I cool it, some of that solid that the heat got to dissolve is going to come out of solution. And it really doesn't take that long. You can already see some solid at the bottom of that test tube. It's come out of solution because I've cooled the solution enough that the solubility has dropped enough that some of that solid has to come out. And the more I cool it, the more solid comes out. Now, of course, I can just reverse this process by heating it up again. If I heat it up again, the solid goes right back into solution. You can just watch that solid disappear. So in the end, for solids, increasing temperature increases solubility and decreasing temperature decreases solubility.